In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can add audio to the flip cards in Adobe Captivate. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. I have a small favor to ask of all of you. Seems that about 90% of you, or a little less actually, are not subscribed to my channel. So one of the things I would really appreciate and I'd be very, forever thankful for is if you can press that subscribe button. It's absolutely free for you to do. And if you take the extra step of turning on notifications for it, you'll find out whenever I launch a new Adobe Captivate tutorial. And again, I'd appreciate that as well. In today's video, we're going to talk about flip cards. And with the release of the all new Adobe Captivate version 13, there's been an addition to flip cards. You can now add audio to each one of your flip cards, not necessarily making it more interactive, but certainly a little bit more dynamic. Let's take a look. So I've set up a basic four card flip card interaction here. Uh, how you do that, that's a separate video perhaps, but uh, the short answer is you click on the add widgets icon in your left hand toolbar and select the cards widget. I've done nothing but to customize the appearance. I haven't changed the functionality. So this will operate exactly like any flip card that you add to your project here. I've just added the title, the text here, the instructions are the same, and I've customized the front and back of all the flip cards, including adding my own images, changing the titles of each one, and including um, some additional information about each of those flip cards. So it's really super easy to add audio to these flip cards. If I select, let's say the first flip card for starters, and if I'm already on my visual properties inspector, click your interactions icon and click on add interaction. This will give you the opportunity to select a trigger. Now you can select click tap and whether it's on the front or the back, it will play whatever audio you wish. Alternatively, you could use flip to back if you only want to hear the audio when someone's turned the card around, which is what I want to do in this case here. So click on flip to back. The only action that's available to you, and maybe someday there'll be more actions, but for right now, play media is the option that you're going to choose. And we'll click on browse. We'll navigate to where on our computer we happen to have those audio clips. We'll select step one, click open, and then we'll click done at the bottom. And we'll repeat those steps for the second flip card. Add interaction, flip to back, play media, browse, find your second audio clip that you wish to use for this interaction, press open, and that takes care of that. Press done if you wish, and we'll select our third flip card here, add interaction, flip to back, play media, browse, step number three, click open, done. Select our fourth and final flip card, add interaction, flip to back, play media. We'll browse to where our fourth clip is, select open and press done. And that takes care of it. That's as, as complicated as I think it needs to be. And it certainly, I think, really greatly improves by adding not necessarily more interactivity, but rather a dynamic quality to this interaction that allows learners to not only read the text that's on the back of the flip card, but hear it as well. Let's do a quick preview and see how it works. All right, so let's flip our first card over. Be specific and tell the person exactly what it was that offended you. This is an important first step and will help the person understand the problem. Let's do the second one. Don't just say the behavior was wrong. Tell them how it made you feel. Use I statements to help your coworker understand how their actions or comments impacted you. We'll do the third one now. It's an essential step to explain what acceptable behavior would be 
and how you expect them to behave. And then our fourth one. Finally, describing what steps you will take if you do not see a change in their behavior will help them understand the seriousness of the matter. These steps should be based on the reporting process from the harassment policy. And of course, now the next slide button is now available because I've clicked on all four of these. One of the great benefits of the flip card widgets and other interactive widgets is that you can force learners to review all the material before allowing them to proceed. And in this case, now my student could press the next button and continue with the rest of the course. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.